and then there's a little confrontation, and Mike Golick is leading the way. These two teams do not like each other. In fact, uh, they are bitter rivals. Oh. Oh. Amidst all the pounding on each other, Gibbs's team got off to a 19-7 lead. While the score was being tracked, so were the sacks. Washington's O-line was trying to set a modern NFL record for fewest sacks allowed in the season. They had only given up six all year. Well, and the Eagles would love nothing more than to get a sack to keep the Redskins from having that record. The quarterback. Blitz coming again, and they got it! William Thomas! And that means that the best the Redskins can do is tie the Miami Dolphins of 1988. Second down and 20. Blitz! Joiner buries Rutledge. Rutledge did get rid of the ball. Boy, he broke his face. Illegal hit to the head. This has got to be pretty good evidence against it. Look at that face mask. Here's Rutledge back. Reggie White coming. Got him. And that means that the Miami Dolphins will hold on to the NFL record for sacks. And it also means that Reggie White continues his streak as the only man in the NFL who has more than a sack for every game in which he has played. Finally, Philadelphia started attacking something besides the Washington offensive line. Play action in the end zone, wide open, Jackson, touchdown. Kemp with time, touchdown. Maurice Johnson, who is in motion, his second in as many weeks. And the Philadelphia Eagles have reclaimed the lead. The Redskins would get a Chip Low Miller field goal to go back up 22 to 21. This game, despite not meaning anything in the standings, was carrying plenty of drama as the Eagles marched into scoring range once more. 